And fans, thanks for clicking the Dreaded D Rose report. Well, I was telling you yesterday, I do believe, that the blood clots return to Ric Flair's legs. Uh, uh, and if those things ever break loose, they usually have to uh, give you blood thinner, kind of dissolve them maybe, and uh, so they you know, flow on through with no damage. But boy, one of those blood clots cut loose, man, get to the heart or the lung, it's all over. Uh, but anyway, uh, Flair's reps told everybody if he's booked for the next few weeks and where he's got to fly, he can't risk the flying the distances, so he's going to have to cancel the, con uh, the appearances. The Miz noted on Twitter that he's in Abu Dhabi uh, doing promotional work for WWE over with the big sheep, the big money. I think they still got it. Uh, probably got our money. Hey, uh, the Charlotte Observer has a uh, profiled songwriter Mark Crozer. Uh, he's the guy that created Bray Wyatt's uh, WWE theme song. Well, anyway, Wyatt himself, uh, he discovered the song on a licensing for TV website. It was originally titled Broken Out in Love, but WWE uh, bought the rights and renamed the song Live in Fear. Bray Wyatt commented on the uh, theme. He says, as soon as I heard the bass line of this one, a spark happened. It was magic. He was able to uh, capture the mood uh, in the melody, the mood is very eerie. The song and Bray Wyatt come uh, together so well because Bray is an enigma. What gets me is broken out in love. Oh, that don't sound like a. I don't know if there's any words to it or not to begin with, but that don't sound like no broken out in love. Broken out in hives, maybe. It was announced on uh, last night's SmackDown taping. By the way, Dean Ambrose is going to be defended the WWE title against uh, Dolph Ziggler at Night of Champions. Here's the card so far. Are you going to get it? WWE title match. Bryant taking on Orton. World Championship uh, Heavyweight Championship title match is uh, two people with three names. RVD and ADR. Rob Van Dam, Alberto Zorio. Anyway, um, ADR. RVD. That don't, RVD sounds good. ADR. No. Anyway, uh, WWE US title uh, match is uh, Ziggler taking on Ambrose. Diva title match is going to be a four way. Natalia Naomi, Brie Bella, and AJ Lee. Uh, handicap match is going to be Punk taking on Paul Heyman, Curtis Axel, which we probably won't see much of Heyman in the ring. Maybe under the ring or outside it. And I was telling you yesterday about Christian suffered a concussion in his match against Randy Orton on uh, August 26th episode of Raw, according to WWE.com. There are article also notes they pulled Christian out of all activity, even through impact scores, uh, even if they're normal. Uh, he's still uh, having some symptoms of fogginess and cloudiness, which I'm having that at, as we speak. Maybe I should see somebody. No. Christian, who suffered a concussion last week's Raw, says um, on SmackDown, uh, worked last night's uh, SmackDown taping, but he just appeared on stage in a segment and didn't wrestle. Uh, he's going to be undergoing in-ring tests at the Performance Center uh, later this week. He's going to be able to, he's going to be able to work without any problems. He'll be cleared to wrestle, but now they're going to have to get a storyline going for the poor guy again. Hmm. And I can't. I don't know exactly right off how old he is, but uh, you know he's not a young kid. But he still is. He's good. Dark match um, event after last night's TV taping in Minneapolis saw Daniel Bryant defeat Randy Orton by a disqualification after Shield interferes. We know that's going to constantly happen. Dolph Ziggler, Rob Van Dam, and Kofi Kingston came in and make the save. The baby faces hit the finisher on Seth Rollins to end the show. Set everybody home happy except Rollins. WWE confirmed that uh, tonight's, uh, well, last night's TV taping in Minneapolis that the 2014 Elimination Chamber pay-per-view will take place February 23rd from the Target Center in Minneapolis. And the password is Chamber. Might get you a little better seat. Windsor Star published an article about uh, uh, Detroit losing the bid to uh, WrestleMania 32 at Ford Field. Uh, for 2013, I mean, rather uh, 2016, uh, says uh, Detroit's uh, dis Detroit, dis not Detroit, Detroit Sports Commission uh, issued uh, Director Dave Butcham a uh, I mentioned that the city had been out of the running since the beginning of summer. 
Uh, Dave also noted that, that we were notified back in June, but uh, we haven't heard from them since. Uh, if we are back on uh, that list, uh, they haven't told me. On Twitter, Triple H addressed the change in his character after recent criticism over WWE's anti-bullying efforts. He tweeted, oh my god, someone just told me that Darth Vader is a character in a movie, silly me, all this time I thought he was a big bully. Bastard. Speaking on the, this angle, by the way, last night's Raw, F4W Online notes that uh, Rhodes is taking time off to get married go on his honeymoon and uh, had been planned but uh, for a while but apparently there is a lot not much communication between uh, WWE creative these days so they end up having to rush his departure on last night's Raw so that's why they kind of did the hurry up and pew go uh, don't know what the date was he's getting married on but apparently he knows thanks for clicking you guys I gotta go